Welcome back, gang. This is Delty from DeltyIsGaming.com, and today we're covering a dungeon guide on veteran Black Drake Villa for ESO Update 29. This guide will cover the bosses, including hard mode on each. This video will not cover the secret bosses, which will be in a different video later on. Timestamps are below if you wish to skip ahead. Let's get to it. Start of the dungeon here. If you haven't done this and you're doing it for the first time, make sure to grab the quest at the start. Some very uh, basic mechanics to dungeons. What you need to do preparing for this is play more defensive at the start. So if this is your first time in here, you may want a mobile ultimate. You may want to go like a veteran maelstrom arena style build if you're a damage dealer. Um, have some off healing, some shields, some way to survive independently of the healer. Some of these adds in this specific dungeon are very nasty. The salamanders and the firebrands, the minotaur looking guys specifically, you're going to want to stay out of their, their area and get those salamanders down quick. There's a couple other secret mechanics we're going to cover in a later video, avatar fragments. You'll notice these little wisp things later on in the video. Each person can essentially collect 30 per and do some optional bosses that unlocks a secret boss at the end. It's very detailed, um, very hard to explain, so we'll do that later. Another thing you'll notice are platforms throughout. Ice avatar transformations. You basically turn into a huge Dermora looking dude that spawns ice. It's really cool. The purpose of this is basically to nuke down the adds and interrupt some mechanics on the bosses. So this is kind of the introduction mechanic you'll see throughout and we'll, we'll show you in some of the boss fights. But there's a platform, you can synergize with it, use some ultimate, and then you'll be able to get these special looking powers and so forth. So just make sure you know it does cost ultimate. Some also things to know is hard mode. Um, some of these add more HP, tougher adds. A couple of them add uh, a few more mechanics. So just be aware that when you activate hard mode, you can't unactivate it. So it's a one-time thing. And the first one, the first boss specifically, is probably the hardest. So don't give up if it's, a, it's very challenging. Usually they get a little bit easier after that. Okay, upon entering this boss, you'll notice to the left is a little totem where you activate hard mode. This will be the left on pretty much every single boss throughout. Right before we start the fight, you'll notice to the right of the boss is that platform. So just keep a mental note of that later in case you need it. So activate the totem initially. We wipe a couple times uh, to learn the fight and mechanics. So we'll start with a clear pull. First mechanic up, you'll notice he kind of goes an uppercut. You look for a heavy attack and you need to block this. Also be prepared if you're playing a healer because this will still do a lot of damage. You're going to need to heal him up. This mechanic involves a boss throwing a fireball that will spawn a flame totem. You need to prioritize and kill this. Next mechanic is a massive heavy attack, which is being telegraphed by the boss above his head. Notice the environmental effects coming out of the vents. This leads to a salamander, which is the hardest part of this fight. We use this strategy, which the healer, me, puts on a taunt, a ranged taunt, and then pulls the salamander away. Your entire group needs to focus the salamander while the tank holds the boss's aggro. Because if these critters reach the boss, they'll be hitting very, very hard and usually produces a wipe. Another thing about these critters is you can immobilize them. So if someone has a mobilize that can slow them down from reaching the boss, that's also a good strategy. You'll notice that big, huge mace flying by. So what that is, after the massive heavy attack, the boss chucks his mace, leaving a random fiery spot on the ground. It's red, don't stand on it. Even more mechanics, another red circle which will glide around the room, avoid it, and use the entire map to your advantage. Note, there will be three of them. You'll notice and hear the sound of our ally getting shackled in place. Make sure you interrupt the boss because soon to follow will be some red circles. Notice the telegraph shout here. Make sure to bash, interrupt, or use crushing shock for range magic users.
The boss may randomly charge across the map into the other corner, just make sure to dodge roll out of it or at least block. And that finishes up the fight. This is probably the hardest one. So what we have next, we're just gonna go through the dungeon. We do a couple of the secret bosses. We're gonna leave those foot that footage in there just in case you wanna see it, but there's not gonna be narration on how to do it. So keeping that in there, fast forward a little bit, make sure we get to the next boss. Timestamps below if you wanna skip ahead. Next box up and we got the traps that are placed around the room. These will cause immobilization and do a bit of damage. So just pearl roll right through them, dodge roll right through them and you should be fine. Watch for the massive AOE red circle that expands from the boss. Try to block this or dodge this, otherwise it could kind of stutter you. Throughout, you'll see a traveling orb of electricity that will stop and explode. Next, you'll see some archers that appear in different corners. Make sure to take them out. They'll also do a channel attack that will have put a little red circle around someone. They can be bashed, interrupt, or you can just kill them outright. Again, notice the pad near the top of the screen. This is going to be a mechanic that will come into play later on during the fight. The boss will randomly teleport to a person in your party. Notice the health bar and the lava shield. The boss will be immune to damage during this time. What you'll need to do during this stage is take out some adds and then also use the synergy ice mechanic to free the boss and start damaging him again. Here come the adds and you'll see the atro. Make sure to focus this one down. Notice the group member at the top of the screen using the ice pad and synergizing and then next you'll see a big huge blue cold wave. That's one of the parts to get rid of the flame shield along with killing the atro to make the boss damageable again.
all of a sudden my screen changes color and I'll have a little animation around me. What this means is you're just gonna have a debuff on the bottom left of your screen that will kind of show you counting down a timer. You'll just take more damage during this time, so just be aware. Next up, we have some crazy hound dogs. They do a lot of damage, so take them out. Notice the Kono Cleave damage here. Just make sure to be behind or to the side of the boss for this exact reason. Boss teleports, channels an attack. Make sure to bash it even if you're not the tank. So that's it for this boss. Really, there are a lot of mechanics, but mainly it's staying out of red, killing some adds, and then using the synergy platform that's kind of a redundant mechanism in the fight. Next part is just clearing some trash mobs, getting ready for the final boss, and he is a doozy. Next, we're going to enter the final boss's area. Two things to pay attention to. One is the platform in front of you and then two to the left is how you activate hard mode. First mechanic up, the boss will shoot out these lava serpents in front of it. So make sure you're behind and to the side to avoid the cleave damage. Watch out for the summon exploding totem here. You'll see a flame circle here. This will come into play later in the dungeon. Obviously step out of it. Now you'll start seeing a lot of flame spirits that will spawn. This is a good time to go to the back, use this energy, become Ice Dude, that's his official name, and then use this energy to get rid of these guys.
Now the room becomes engulfed in flames. You have to get into the center. This is again is a mechanic that's important for later in the dungeon. Big nasty flame ad is summoned here. Make sure to AOE cleave damage both the boss and this guy down at the same time. If you're playing the tank, make sure to pick up quickly and face away from the group. Next up, the boss is going to be immune to damage during a phase transition, so he's going to break down the wall. What you can do here is charge ultimates, do some fully charge heavy attacks. Also, don't feel like you have to rush through. There will actually be some essences, some avatar fragments if you need those. So take your time, get charged up, ready to go, and then proceed. Now we're entering the last room of the fight and you'll notice that I do what you're not supposed to do. The tank's supposed to go one way, the others go another. Firestorm here, you're going to see some repeats of the same mechanics. You're going to see the firestorm, you're going to see the big old tornado of fire where you're going to have to get on the inside, you're going to see the ad, you're going to see the flame spirit. So basically it's a reintroduction of a lot of the same mechanics you've already seen just on this top ring. You'll notice the boss buzz off to the left or the far side of the room. What this is going to do is make the entire outer ring on fire drop down or you will die. As soon as you drop down, you'll notice the green rings, the geysers. You've seen this mechanic earlier. The important thing here is to ignore the ads and position your body so that you hit the geyser and you pop up. You're going to go the direction that you face. So just make sure you're facing the right direction. I died a couple times just kind of pointing myself in different directions. Once up top, you're going to have similar mechanics as previously encountered. Center flame circle, giant flame dude, drop the hammer, and burn here. Both of them with big AoE. Next, the boss will telegraph the flame meteor shower coming down at you. You'll need to exit the middle and continue to push while I go grab the ice mechanic synergy and show you how that's done.
And that's the final boss. What a dungeon. I think this one's an all-time classic. Tons of mechanics, secrets, it's visually stunning, and just a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed this video. This was the hard mode bosses. Hopefully in the future we'll cover the secret bosses that require my least favorite thing in gaming, and that's puzzles. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, turn them alerts on, leave a comment, and considering joining Nugget Nation and becoming a member. Thank you so much for watching.